Hey, this is Christy, and I just wanted to share with you my latest painting uh, that I've just finished. And uh, this is a really special one because I, I was very much honored to have been asked to do this. This is a commission by a friend of mine named Robert, and uh, he asked me to paint his dragons. Now, I'm clairvoyant, so I'm very visual, so I'm able to kind of see energy a lot of times in the form of archetype. But not everybody is, and, and Robert told me that, that he feels his dragons, he communicates with them, but he doesn't really see them. So so I said, yeah, I'd be really honored to, to paint your dragons. And he actually gave me permission to share when I when I do a painting for someone I also will channel I'll receive messages from the painting from the the energies in the painting and uh, he was gracious enough to allow me to share this because when these things come through they're always universal they're they're more than just for you know, for us. And I personally was helped very much recently by another artist who had posted something very similar. Um, and I, I was helped by what she posted. So I'm just uh, really glad uh, to be able to pay that forward. And I uh, want to thank Robert a, a lot for, for giving permission um, to share the, his dragons with us and, uh, and what they want to say. So when Robert told me about his dragons, he told me um, there were there were two of them, and one of them breathed fire, the other one breathed snow, and that they uh, were guarding an egg, and uh, so that's that's what when I tuned in, this is what I saw, and uh, I'm just gonna sort of babble about these dragons, and allow them, you know, the their message to come through. Um, this isn't gonna be real cohesive, but. It's, it's what's coming through. So first thing, I just want to tell a little bit of the story of this as it happened. It took me weeks actually to do this, and it normally doesn't take that long because I actually work pretty fast, but somehow I was drawn to using this paper that I don't use a lot. I, I usually use a type of watercolor paper called Arches uh, uh, Cold Press which is a, a very high quality uh, artist watercolor paper. And this is also Arches paper, which is a very, very fine paper. But in this one, I used hot press paper, which I happen to have on hand, which I'd ordered by mistake once. And I'd used, you know, I hadn't really used much, but somehow I was drawn to using this. And I think partly is because like, as I, as I did it and decided to use a dark background rather than a light one, it really brought a lot of challenges forward. So uh, the first thing that's wanting to come forward is really challenges and especially around the material. So uh, these dragons are wanting to come in to explicitly talk about and, and heal and bring healing to the physical manifestation of things. And this could be material, could be material, you know, abundance of some sort or something that's happening on the material plane. Okay, so this is really about life on earth uh, being physical. It could be health, it could be money, but whatever it is, it's it's about actually bringing things to manifestation. And manifestation is coming through big. This is the creative energy. So this is like male, female. I'm really getting the sense that the, the golden dragon here, um, the fire breathing one, um, is more masculine, that the other one's more feminine, and that they're working together to, uh, so there's a lot of harmony here between masculine and feminine, or they're asking for that, or they're bringing healing to that. And, and you can see even the, the yin yang symbol shows up in the middle and the egg that they're protecting. So they're really, they're really fostering and uh, protecting and guarding this creation, this manifestation that's beginning. It's in the egg stage. Okay. They're, they're really uh, nurturing and guarding. So big feeling of protection with these dragons and nurturing of something new, something that's that's coming in, something that's wanting to expand. You can see the spiral around that yin yang. So there's a real expansion happening. There's a gestation. There's like a, a birthing that's going to want to happen. 
and again, it's in the material plane and out in the collective right now, there's this huge, this is kind of like a birthing of the Christ coming in that I've been experiencing a lot in the last uh, year. I think a lot of people have a lot of dragons coming in for a lot of people this, this past year as well. And I'm going to share a little bit about some of that that's come in for me because I think it's directly related to this painting. So, so and getting the feeling that this has a lot to do with that, a lot of it is bringing heaven to earth. We're in a time where we're really, there's a lot of ascension happening and a lot of, you know, bringing spirit down to earth and in a way that's actually going to make physical changes to really change the way that we live life on earth. Okay, and that's what these dragons are really wanting to come in and help us with. Um, a lot of healing around that. And there's more in terms of the actual art supplies to you used. I think these dragons are really wanting to bring home this physicality um, because it, as well as, you know, they're, they're really they're really wanting to toe the line. Okay, so the, what these dragons are doing, I wasn't, it, like, I was about to say that that I it took me weeks to do this, and I usually work fast. But first of all, I was struggling with the material because as I started to work with this, it, the 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 hot press paper that I was using, it just does not take paint the same way that I'm used to the cold press, and it was a real challenge. It was it's very much struggling. I found myself second guessing. Did I do this wrong? I should have gone in and thinking I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done it in a different way. Um, maybe I shouldn't have used this paper. Maybe I should have used masking fluid more. Um, should have, should have, should have. I was giving myself this whole should have, should have, should have, right? And the reason I'm sharing this is that I think it really is pertinent to the message. So if you are in this place where where you've been doing a lot of second guessing and looking back and thinking I didn't do that right or things, you know, I, I didn't handle my life right or whatever, just hold on because it's going to all work out. Okay, yes, maybe you took a more challenging route, but it's okay because it's going to turn out okay. And that's part of what these guys are saying. It's like, you know what, we, we are all doing the best we can. We do the best we can with where we're at at the time. And sometimes things there might have been an easier way, but keep moving, keep moving forward because things are going to turn out okay. You know, just have faith that it'll turn out all right. Just keep that faith that it'll turn out okay. So as I said, as I kept getting these blocks, it's like I'd work on it a little bit and I get frustrated and put it aside and just, just a lot of kind of working through blocks. And, uh, and it finally came to the point where it's about a week ago that I had this real breakthrough that I'd ha had to purge a lot of this negativity, a lot of the second guessing, a lot of the doubts. And, and, and the reason I'm really bringing it up is because that other that video that I mentioned at the beginning that I had you know seen that was posted a year and a half ago by another painter that really had a message that helped me this is what created this purge that allowed me to actually move forward and finish the painting with ease okay um, so there's this is the, what they're bringing forward is that you may need to do some purging Okay, that there may be some things, and especially around self-love and, and coughing up those feelings of um, not being good enough. Okay, so like I made mistakes, um, you know, or I'm not good enough for this, or do I deserve this? Any of those feelings coming up, you, you know, can I really do this? Any of those doubts? Know that you can. Know that you are enough just as you are that you are beautiful the way you are and that you're deserving and that you are a miracle you are a miracle just as you are that even if things haven't seemed to manifest the way you want, look at what you've had to overcome. Don't compare yourself to others. That you've had a lot to overcome in your life. That you've had to climb mountains. 
that you've had to you've had to deal with a lot and this comes through from lifetimes right that you have persevered and that to be the person you are at this time is really a testament to the beauty and the power of your own soul. And, and, and don't be putting yourself down for where you're at. Because for you to be where you're at right now, at the level of consciousness that you're at, you are a miracle. And, and you deserve to be seen for that, for the beauty of who you are. So honor yourself and be gentle with yourself and love yourself and give yourself what you need. Give yourself the love. Lavish the love on yourself. Because you are a miracle. And you are bringing, you, you know, you, you're, you're bringing inspiration to the people in your life. People are looking to you and saying, wow. And, and giving hope. You're offering hope just by being who you are, right? So all those struggles that you've been through, these struggles in your life or whatever, you know, that's 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 just part of this whole thing. And 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 don't beat up on yourself, you know, for where you're at right now, um, because it's part of the whole beautiful big picture. Okay, and so. So yeah, there may be some purging that needs to be done around around not being worthy or or, or that. Just just talk, cough it up, <laughs> cough it up because you know past that when you get that out of you, you know there's that's op going to open up a lot. All right, so allow these dragons to to move through. Allow this fire breathing one, this golden one, just allow him to breathe over you. Breathe over you, okay? Allow that to burn up any of these feelings of self-doubt, any of these feelings of guilt for not being where you think you ought to be. Um, just, just allow it to burn up, okay? And allow this one, this beautiful snow dragon, allow her to just breathe her cooling flames on her, on, on over you as well. Just cooling down, cooling down any kind of, any kind of negative fires, right? and purify the snow with such, such such pure energy. Both of these are very purifying. Okay, allowing yourself to come down into this sense of deep snow, this deep sense of peace that snow brings. That just purity. It's like when the snow falls, it it pulls out of the air, you know, any kind of particulate Snow is really good at pulling black particulate out of the air and clearing and purifying the air. So it's a sense of water, dreams, and intuition allowing to purify the mind, the air, okay? So letting your intuition wash through your mind and clear away these beliefs that just don't serve you. That's what she's doing. All right. So I'm not done with this whole material thing because after I'd been through this purging process and was given the go-ahead to finish this painting, the dragons directed me to use, again, materials that I'm not used to using. My grandmother passed away about 10 years ago or so, and she was an artist, and... She left me uh, quite a, a, a few of her art supplies, and what one of the things that she had been studying was Chinese painting, and she she studied with a very fine uh, uh, master Chinese painter from from China, and so she had some of the Chinese art supplies, and amongst them was this little set of Chinese paints, these Chinese, and, and I had thought they were watercolors. I, I'd never actually used them, and some of them in the box were all dried up and hard, and then others of these tubes had never been opened, and these are these are decades old by now, but they were, they were soft and just fine, um, so I actually opened a couple of these tubes of paint expressly for this 
painting. These were my grandmother's. So there's there's legacy involved. So we're looking at some bloodline clearing going on here. Some bringing forward of gifts from from the ancestors. You know, opening gifts that they've left. <laughs> Um, so, so look inside. You may want to do some meditation with uh, your own ancestors and reconnect and see what gifts that they have. That almost like a time capsule. So there may be some gifts or wisdom from your ancestors to you at this time that you can tap into. So, so act, ask to connect with them. But what these dragons guided me, I had this this. Um, art box that, uh, and, and these were here, so I was guided to open these and use these, and so I found that this paint is beautiful, it flows beautifully, and that also it doesn't react like regular watercolor, and that this is a really pretty permanent paint when I, when I paint with this, when I, when I, um, you know, use the brush and, and, and put this line down with this, this black outlining, First of all, I up until now I'd say I never I never outline. I don't outline. I'm not a cartoonist and this is not my normal style to, to use outlining. I'm a little bit more classically trained and I uh, it's not something I normally do. But these dragons demanded it. They really wanted the outlining. Um, so first of all, I want to get back into um, that this paint, it, uh, most watercolor lifts really well, especially anything that, that is like the, the black colors or whatever, they'll, they'll tend to lift really well. So it, it's pretty forgiving that you can, you know, set down the paint. And if you make a mistake, you can look at, lift it up. And, and, and with this, it was, like it said, they, they wanted it to outline. And they also, you know, wanted me to use this particular paint because I've got other watercolor that I could have used that, that's, that's also black like this. But they wanted this paint. And what this paint demands is that you be decisive. That you lay it down, that you're focused on where you want to lay it down. And that you put it down decisively and let it be. So this is asking for clear decisive, focused action. It's asking for first for clarity, to be very, very clear on where you want to lay it down. And then it's asking for decisiveness because you can't lay this down in a wishy-washy manner. If it's not going to come up, you have to be very clear on where, you know, where it's going to you got to be just lay it down with, with confidence. So this is really a call for just move forward with confidence. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. Be confident about it. Show your confidence. Step forward with confidence. Um, and also to lay down the line. To lay down, to, you know, you may have to draw a line. It's asking you to draw a line. It's asking you to be to clear, to be, de to be decisive, and to draw a line. To draw the boundaries. Where are your boundaries? What's serving you, what's not? To identify, you know, to identify your path moving forward. And in your path moving forward, first of all, be very clear on your goals. And if you haven't sat down yet to know, to really, to articulate your purpose, why are you here on this earth? We're all here for a reason. We're all here eventually, you know, to help other people. But in particular, you have a purpose um, that, that, that's yours, that's your individual purpose, that you're here. To, to make the world a better place in your own way and it's asking you to be very clear on that and then it's asking you as you move forward to manifest this purpose because this is all about manifestation all this physical stuff it's all about bringing it to earth okay so it's asking you to be extremely clear about first of all you know what it is that you're going to be doing and this is like this intuition thing is asking guidance. Like, don't make your mind do it. Don't let your mind do it. Let intuition wash through your mind. Intuition will show the way. It's going to clear away, you know, all the garbage and let leave you with this pure path ahead, this pure path with snow, okay? And as you do so, it's also going to reveal what's not serving you. And it's asking you to draw that line, to remove anything just just you know don't stand for things anymore in your way this could be beliefs this could be limiting beliefs 
Uh, don't let them stand in your way, okay? Draw that line between you and those beliefs. You are not the beliefs. You are not your mind, okay? Your consciousness, you are consciousness, and you're, you can choose what's in your mind. You can choose what's in your mind. You can choose the thoughts. So choose the thoughts that serve you. Draw that line. Choose the thoughts that are serve you, serve you and let the other ones go. Okay? So that's that snow of intuition. Ask for your guides. Ask for your guides to show you exactly what is serving you, what's not. And then be decisive. Um, let your dragons out. Let your fire-breathing dragon at it. Anything that's not serving you, let him breathe on it. Okay, that's what he's there for. He's going to protect you. He's going to protect you from that stuff. That's just garbage. That's just nonsense. Okay, so that's that's really the message. And then the last thing that came through was all these beautiful little little sacred geometry little things. <laughs> There's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of wisdom that you have at your disposal. The dragons at work with your dragons because they're going to bring that in. Like I haven't even been clued in yet. It's just, I mean, you can say it. You can look up the meanings of all these things, but they are really going to illuminate it for you. So working with your dragons, um, they're they're going to and there's going to be more. These are just this is just sort of like a, a assembly and expression. But be open to, you know, this this universal wisdom that you have at your disposal. That's in you. That's in, you know, that that you are a. Um, a vessel for the, these universal laws, the universal wisdom, that you may be a, um, a keeper of the laws. Um, so look into universal law, look into the hermetic principles, um, that kind of thing. You might look into a, a Kabbalist, um, you know, teachings, uh, something like that. It's, it's saying that there's some ancient wisdom here that is here for you, that you can be a, a, a carrier for, um, that you can nurture, that you can bring into the world here at this time because it's ready, the, the world's ready. Okay. And then there's one more thing that I wanted to share, and this is just from my own experience, but uh, the reason I'm mentioning it is I think that it's related would be a little less than a year ago, last January in 2018, um, I had a pretty major vision with dragons. And I was greeted, first of all, by a, a big, great white dragon, and that there were many more white dragons behind it. And also by a golden dragon, and then lastly by a tremendous purple dragon, which seemed to be the leader of them. But I went to the dragons one by one, asked them to tell me about themselves. And the white one told me that she was the dragon of healing. Um, and, well, at that point, I say he, she it didn't really have a gender. But called my attention to my hands and my hands connection to my heart. So really looking at, you, you know, your, your heart and then the hands being... I think it's coming again to manifestation to actually doing things in in the world that create change and through that change the healing happens right but but it has to be done in the world and the golden dragon told me that he was the, the dragon of perception and the purple dragon told me that she was the dragon of choice and the power they gave me in the vision has to do with opening up new levels in these areas of healing, perception, and choice. So really, you know, the healing coming through, first of all, really being observant, being aware, being the observer with what's going on, and, you know, perceiving, really discerning. A, a, a lot of this is very masculine energy coming through and, and that discernment judging, judging in a positive way, right? Really discerning, you know, what is true to me and what's not. What's serving my purpose, what's not. What is my purpose, what's not, right? What's part of my purpose. Um, so really asking that awareness to be brought to a higher level uh, for that discernment to really be happening. Um, you know, that's the perception part of it. And then choice, making the choices around these. Because every moment we have a choice, every moment we can choose, you know, and we are choosing, we're creating our reality every moment. And, and it's all based on choices, how we are responding to things. Are we responding proactively 
or are we reacting, you know, just, just a knee-jerk reaction, which usually comes from the lower ego, right? So being aware, thinking about how you are responding to everything that comes into, the, into life, and especially looking at circumstances, looking at experiences, each experience that we have opens doors or it has the potential to open doors and even those experiences that feel uncomfortable at the time that you know ones that we don't necessarily want to be experiencing even ones where we lose it or whatever if we're not standing in our truth even those experiences open doors because they're bringing up things for our awareness so that we can deal with those and clear them out so looking at some of these experiences as positive, finding the positive in them, finding the open doors. Where does it open doors? Because when you when you start being grateful for every single experience, it opens the door for healing to come in. It opens the door for maybe next time around whatever is meant to come in for you that's a blessing is, is able to come in because you've left that door open through gratitude. And it's all done through choice and through perception. All right, so thank you, Robert. Thank you again for sharing your dragons and their their message. I believe this message is definitely for you. It's for anybody who's watching this, who has come this far to have um, listened to this message in its entirety. This is speaking to you as well. This is just as much for you as it is for Robert. Um, so thank you, thank you for for um, you know being present to it. And um, and also, I just uh, want to know that I, I do do these if you are interested in having a soul essence painting or if you have a vision or, um, you know, something that you would like to see embodied, um, just, just connect with me because um, I can certainly be, be um, happy to talk to you about, about painting your vision, painting your spirit guides, or tuning into your soul essence and, and painting what comes out of that. So you can look at my website, brightspiritart.com, for more information on soul essence painting. Uh, you have a lovely day, and we'll catch you next time. Spirit guides or tuning into your soul essence and, and painting what comes out of that. So you can look at my website, brightspiritart.com, for more information on soul essence painting. Uh, you have a lovely day, and we'll catch you next time.